What started in 1969 as a roadside produce stand has become a theme park of food and wine in Fredericksburg. Fisher and Weezer is now a farmstead with a cooking school, winery, bed and breakfast, and more. The brand is also making a global footprint with its products like jams and jellies that are shipped around the world. Tara Newbaum is live in Fredericksburg. Hey, Tara. Good morning, Casey. We started in the cooking school here with Fisher and Weezer, and uh, now we're here at Das Peach House, which the cooking school is in, in the back here. Exactly. But this is the beautiful store, Deanna, that people can come try literally every single product that you guys yes. have. It's, it's all in here. It, this everything that we make, we make over 150 products. We have about five product lines under our own brands. And this is the only place besides jelly.com that you can find all of them. And so. it all started with uh, some peach jam. And now you guys have, like you said, more than 150 products. Yes, we're in the specialty food business. We innovate, we create, and we're always doing product development. And aside from that, there is so much to get into when people come visit here in Fredericksburg. Absolutely. Um, what can they do within your farmstead here? We, we're so excited to welcome everybody to our farmstead. And we have, of course, this Store. You could come in, you could spend a whole day, even a weekend here. Come to the store, try our products, things that you'd like to see. Would I like this and take it home? You can take a cooking class, learn how to use them. Uh, you can also have wine tasting. We have a culinary adventure wine collection, all Texas wines. Uh, our youngest son, he took his training in winemaking and he worked with our winemaker to develop those. You can do that, take a bottle of wine out to the lake and enjoy and sit outside a beautiful lake. We have live music on the weekends. You can also go to Deets Distillery, which is brand new. Our oldest son has opened a distillery on the farmstead and then top it all off by spending the night in our B&B. Yeah, so you're, you're hanging out, eating, drinking. You can just crash right here because you exactly. guys have a B&B on the property. And you know, we for anybody who missed it earlier on, we were over in the cooking school. What are some of the typical classes that people can take out there? Well, in the you know coming up in April we've got a German fair class which will be learning how to make schnitzel and things like that because of course we're a German town and then we have Spanish tap tapas that you can learn to do that and we're going to have uh, all things peaches coming up here in the next month okay we're excited for peach season you guys have some everything peach in here peach jam yes. peach salsa and people can come in here like you said try it but um, what does this mean to the family that you guys have you know started as a farm state and selling some peaches and now you're you're shipping products around the world it's you know we never knew what this could turn into and when I met case at Texas A&M he said I'm gonna be in the jelly business and I said okay good you have a plan I'll go with you and as every day has been a new day we develop new products all the time and we have moved from the jelly business even though our website is jelly.com into all specialty foods and people know us a lot for our sauces so it is just incredible what you guys are doing and also so delicious trying all these products this morning we had a big spread earlier on but where do people make reservations do they need to make reservations to come for the wine tastings and the cooking school and all that for the cooking school yes and you can do that right on jelly.com just under our farmstead tab there okay. you just go there and find that but wine tasting you can taste anytime there's no reservation needed for that no reservation needed to sit by the pond everyone's welcome out there so yeah I it's love it fun. Deanna thank you so much Casey we'll head over to the distillery in the next hour of good day Austin this is just incredible something to see for sure uh, in person because it's even dreamy outside there's a lake and you can just hang out drink some wine eat some food and be merry <laughs> I'm getting pretty hungry Tara you're not helping <laughs> Thanks, Sierra. We'll be right there's back. There's a lot of delicious food in here. Thanks, Definitely, yeah.